So I was out here tonight just doing a little bit of upgrades to my, my homemade flower pot foundry here, furnace. Um, it, it, I had made it with a flower pot and some concrete and uh, did some extreme heat cycles and cracked it and it just wasn't uh, wasn't safe anymore in the condition that it was. It's still not the right way of doing things. Um, it's you know, it, I mean, it's it's concrete on the outside. I put some fire brick. You get those at I got them at Menard. They were 15 bucks for six of them, so not too bad. But they're not insulating, so they're not the best choice for it. But for now, I just wanted something to keep me keep me uh, functional. Um, I am planning on building a, a better a better furnace. I've started buying the parts to do it. I've got the some of the the insulating foam and the the chemical that you paint on that to make that higher temperature resistant, um, but I, I still need to get the insulating fire brick and and uh, and go on uh, actually do the build on that. So as soon as I as soon as I get all of the parts, I will. I'm planning on doing a video of that build because that one I want to do properly. And you know, right now I'm still kind of in the design phase on it and again like I said uh, putting together parts um, I haven't decided if I want to do a drain hole in case of a crucible failure and if I want to do one burner hole or if I want to do two burner holes so you know someday I'm hoping to be able to do cast iron so part of me thinks maybe two burner holes would be better but at the same time if I do propane and forced air it should be hot enough to do cast iron uh, I learned the hard way with this one that uh, propane with a little bit of you know putting the air compressor into it forced air it'll melt steel so you know it, it'll get hot enough for cast iron that way but this one would never be able to do cast iron because there's too much heat loss you know, it's too inefficient that way that I don't have an insulated lid and and this is actually built better than it was before when I when I melted my steel crucible but uh, um, yeah, I mean it, it's, it's it's scrap metal, concrete, and you know fifteen dollars in in those bricks, and, and a little bit of work on the on the propane torch and stuff. And um, the torch design is the the uh, Grant Thompson King of Random video, um, and it it took took me some fine tuning, especially in the cold weather here in Central Wisconsin. It was it was I wasn't getting enough propane at first, and then didn't have it dialed in quite quite square in the in the bore and stuff it's it's amazing how uh, the tiniest little thing can affect it but uh you know this this it does work pretty well for being a kind of cobbled together piece here um i have the bolts welded on there just so that the lid you know stays up on its own rather than flopping over and um it just makes more sense having the lid that way. And so before I had it where you'd lift it off, well, then you put it somewhere and whatever. It was just always a mess. And and uh, given that this is a concrete one, it's rather heavy, so that's why I have it on the heavy-duty cart so that I don't have to try to carry it or whatever. I can just wheel it out, do it, wheel it away, and it's all heavy steel, so I don't have to worry about anything that way. Um, this pole here, I'm... I'm was planning on having a, a great a rack that I could put over the top to start to preheat the metal, uh, aluminum or whatever. I could I could use the exhaust heat to preheat it so that it would be a little quicker when I was putting it in there to try to have it be a little more efficient. But uh, um, yeah, that's that's probably good for this video. Just kind of wanted to give a give a basic idea on this thing, and uh, you know, haven't decided if I'm going to call him Bob or Dave, but. Uh, um, I had had three or four of these cans that I painted up like the like the minions. I, I got this other one here that I got full of scrap metal right now, and you know, yeah. But anyway, so um, I do plan on once I do finally finalize my design and uh, get the insulating fire bricks for the the new build. I plan on doing a complete build video with that one. Um, this one was something that I've had for for a while and just finally got to use this year, so I, there's no build video with it. But um, the 
if I get enough interest and stuff, I'm, I'm hoping to start doing more videos and, and get a better camera and microphone and stuff and, and do some more, more interesting things that are, that are more fun when I get caught up on some of the things around the shop that I got to do. But uh, um, it's fun to cast and, and, and learn a lot of stuff and, and I'll be making some new some neat stuff with it so uh, if you uh, yeah if you're interested in a in a furnace build I'm I'm hoping in uh, uh, probably realistically speaking it'll be three four weeks uh, maybe even a little bit longer um, but but I do plan on on doing that full build so you might want to check back with me every once in a while um, I'm hoping to start getting into doing some more more fun and, and interesting and better videos than what I have had on here. Uh, a lot of my videos I just posted to, just to get started and have something on. But uh, in the meantime, uh, you don't have to have all the answers. Just try not to be part of the problem.